Okay, rarely in my videos would I use the word game changer when presenting a product. But when my winging and kiting buddy Daniel talked me into trying out his Kujira setup a few weeks ago, well, I hesitantly gave it a go and it was life changing. Okay, maybe a little strong, but it was wingding life changing. And a few days later, I reached out to my trusted dealer after a couple of days of night sweats this showed up at my front door because the Kujira withdrawal, it was real. So over the next few minutes, let's take a look at the Kujira foil lineup and see what benefits it can bring to your winging game. Okay, let's start off with the marketing hook of these Kujira wings. The front wings have tubercles modeled after the pectoral fins of humpback whales. This presents as if it's revolutionary, but I fear it may come across as a little bit gimmicky on the surface. So the question is, is this additive why this wing is so good? And after all, there have been past studies looking specifically at this well fin technology which would discount that as the reason for the Kujira's high performance. With science on paper and perception in the water, well, often they just do not intersect. There's other properties of these hydrofoils, such as the longer fuselage, upturned winglets, ultra rigid construction, and increased distance between the wing and the mast intersection. Not to mention that it's just an overall efficient high aspect design and all these things may lend to the Kajira wing being the total package. In fact, I've heard experienced hydrofoil experts express that the Kujira wings may be this great, despite the well fin technology, but what is still communicated, irrelevant to the reasons, is that they are great. I don't want to waste a lot of time in the minutia of the Kujira construction, pricing, and other details, but let's visit them briefly. The Kujira lineup comes in a 750, 980, 1210, and 1440. That's all in square centimeters. To give you an idea of the price point, well, a 1210 complete with aluminum masts and fuselage will run around $1,450. And at this time, I've only ridden the aluminum mast setup. There is a carbon full mold base plate mast and fuselage, which is offered by Takuma, but it raises the price considerably and being a solid mold, it just won't be as convenient for travel. So I'm just sticking with the aluminum carbon mix and I couldn't be more pleased with its weight or with its performance. The Kujira comes with a phone inlay carry bag for the mast, fuselage, and base plate. And the front wing sets also come in a similar setup with the rear stabilizer. It's not the greatest design ever, but it definitely serves the purpose and will protect your investment. I've decided to just consolidate though into the Moses hydrofoil bag and all components fit well within this space. In the aluminum setup, you have options of a 75 or an 85 centimeter strut, as well as 65 centimeter options, which are coming soon. The construction assembly is rock solid with interlocking joints and plenty of screw inserts. You can really see how they have created a very rigid setup even without a solid mold, which is another reason I probably won't venture towards the full carbon setup. The front wings tested for this review are the 980, the 1210, and the 1440. So let's get started with the 1210 as I think it will be the gold standard in the Kujira lineup for wing foiling. And you will experience benefits and deficits by going down to the 980, and up to the 1440. The 1210, it was the first swing in the Kujira lineup that I tried, and I have never felt a more locked in foil. Sometimes when I ride high aspect wings, they can feel a little slippery while riding it flat and straight downwind. And also, I have been spoiled by my Delta Reflex airfoil wings while kiting and their pitch stability when switching feet. And I've looked forward to this same characteristic in a high aspect setup for winging. So the Kujira 1210, it felt like I could walk all over the top of this board with full confidence. 
Some of this quality is probably due to the increased fuselage length, but whether I was digging in upwind, switching feet on a jibe, tacking, or gliding it straight downwind, the 1210 is smooth and locked in at all times. I've never felt so much control with a wing in my hands. Upwind angles, they are great. This wing just charges upwind, eliminating some of the frustration that many wingers do express. Decreased upwind effort equals increased downwind pleasure on a foil. The lift on the water start, it's superb. It creates the lift of a front wing much larger than its actual footprint. And even taxiing on the water has more stability than I have experienced in the past. The Kujira, it's an efficient pumper, but the increased glide efficiency alone, it buys you so much more time in transitions and maneuvers. You just don't have to be in a hurry when jibing or when trying to get around on your tacks. Now riding here in Oklahoma, it's inland lake with gusty conditions and often very turbulent water conditions. So maybe it's not the magic of the well pectoral fin, but it just seems that this Kujira cleans everything up below the surface of the water for you. When you move down to the 980, don't worry, you will still have plenty of lift in mid to high winds. And I can easily ride it in 15 mile per hour winds on a six meter hand wing and up to 30 plus mile per hour winds on a four meter hand wing. You will still have superior glide, partly due to the increased speeds on the water. And one thing that you will experience and you can chalk up as a positive or as a negative is it will have less roll stability, which from the positive means that it's going to carve much better than the 1210. And after riding for a little bit of time, you will come to appreciate the more free ride of the 980. And even with less stability, it never feels slippery. The 980 is not the greatest for pumping, but it is a great crossover hydrofoil to use under a wing or to use under a kite. And rarely do you see a high aspect wing that performs well under a kite. But I would chalk the 980 up to that and would also expect the 750 Kujira wing, which we weren't able to test, to be even more phenomenal under a kite. I also wouldn't mind trying the 750 wing on some really, really heavy wind days. So, with the 1210 being the flagship foil, expect the 980 to be faster, less stable, not as good of a pumper, but more carving. So no surprises there. Now moving up to the 1440, you now fall back into that fully locked in riding feel. A little less maneuverable, which you notice ever so slightly in jibes and tacks, but still very manageable. Still you experience great glide, great pumping, and the lift, it's exceptional. This 1440 becomes your light wind friend, which is crazy to say because just a few months ago we were talking about 2,000 plus square centimeter front wings being your wing ding best friend in light winds. So the 1440 in comparison to the 1210, expect better performance with lift and light winds. It's a little less carvy, but still extremely stable and extremely enjoyable. So what are the negatives? This is going to be a short list. I think the unknowns are the negatives. Things such as durability. How well will these hydrofoils hold up in time? The stabilizer, inferior placement, and the angle, well, it definitely leaves it more exposed to beaching and potential abrasion as I have already experienced. I could care less about more conclusive research on the well tubercles. I just know the Kujira is a game changer for me when wing foiling. It seems that in our small sample size of exposure, everyone, well, they've had the same response to riding the Kujira wings under a hand wing. Kujira! I've seen the Kujira wings presented as an advanced level hydrofoil wing. And I would say that Takuma's marketing hasn't helped in disputing that claim. But look, this lineup of wings, it's perfect for the okay everyday winger. Just start out with the 1210 and then work out from there in your Kujira quiver. I have a strong belief that if you give it a try, well, you will also be drinking the Kujira Kool-Aid. 
Kujira. If you're ready to pull the trigger, reach out to Green Hat Kite Boarding for your Kujira hydrofoils or your other wind and board sports needs. You can find their link also in the description below. And as for me, I'm now going to get under a kite a little while and see how the five meter Alula Rome stacks up against the Peak 4 lineup in stronger kite foiling conditions. And we'll see you next time on the OK Kite Board. That bass, we gon' shake up this place. Say pick up, pick up that bass. Yeah. We got no time to waste. Everybody say feel that bass. Yeah. We gon' shake up this place.